Elon Musk insane new SpaceX artificial gravity starship. Keeping up with the theme of SpaceX, who is slowly working to turn science fiction into science facts, many SpaceX engineers have proposed artificial gravity. Yes, that's exactly the kind of technology we get to see in Star Trek and The Expanse, and it might be a necessity for the Starship. How will SpaceX be able to do this? Can they do it? Let's dive deeper into this topic to answer these geeky questions. Already, ideas are touted by the SpaceX CEO, range from using cargo ships to clean up space debris with its mouth-like payload bay, to a stripped-down expendable variant of the rocket, to rapidly send massive spacecraft throughout the solar system. Now, Musk says that SpaceX has also considered tethering starships together in space to create a form of artificial gravity for passengers on multi-month journeys between planets. But wait, how is that even possible? Doesn't gravity have less effect in space than on Earth? That's right, there is far less gravity once you leap into space. Yet in these sci-fi movies, people are continually prancing around as if this isn't an issue. This is because in science fiction, artificial gravity exists, even if it doesn't exist in the actual world, at least not yet. Artificial gravity has always been something that many scientists and engineers have wanted to turn from a fantasy into a reality, even though there has been no success in it yet. Challenges in this project This presents a number of challenges, not the least of which are the effects of prolonged exposure to radiation and microgravity. And whereas there are many viable options for protecting crews from radiation, gravity remains a bit of a stumbling block. The idea was inspired partly by science fiction. Depending on how realistic a franchise is trying to be, starships will either generate their own gravity using some special device or through rotating sections. While the former concept is much like the hyperdrive, i.e. uses physics that are either totally fictitious or theoretical at this point, the latter is something that is entirely feasible. Where did this concept originate? The concept goes back to over a century, with the first recorded example provided by Konstantin Tchaikovsky, one of the founding fathers of rocketry and aeronautics. In 1903, he published a study titled Investigation of Outer Space Rocket Devices, where he suggested using rotational force to create artificial gravity in space. But is rotating the spaceship the only way to achieve gravity? The traditional thinking on artificial gravity is to create rotating ships. Like the old rotor carnival ride, centrifugal force will press the crew and equipment against the interior of the vessel, simulating gravity. Implementing this capability means organizing the structure of the ship to have a ring that rolls around the long axis of the ship. Depending on the rotational speed and the radius of the ring, different centrifugal accelerations can be achieved. But clearly, the Starship has not been designed around these considerations. The long axis of the ship is the 160-foot nose-to-tail axis with a 30-foot diameter. At this radius, there would likely be a substantial difference in artificial gravity between head and toes, resulting in Coriolis force-induced motion sickness. Clearly, this approach is not recommended. Communication Breakdown In addition to these problems, having a rotating starship makes orienting antennae precisely very difficult, which creates even more communications challenges. As the antennae rotate, they will continually lose and regain signal as the rotation moves the antennae out of their orientation range. Power Problems The Starship is expected to power its systems with solar panels, which are vastly more effective in space. With a rotating craft, keeping the panels oriented towards the sun to capture energy can be problematic, depending on the nature of the rotation and the orientation of the panels but it can be solved if they fold out the solar panels and orient the spaceship so that the panels face the sun and orient the axis of rotation so that the panels continue to face the sun. Now, we simply have to wait and see what SpaceX comes up with to be able to create artificial gravity, as the company hasn't exactly been quite open about its plans, likely because it's still in its early stages and they would rather prefer private criticism than scathing public criticism about their plans currently. So, these were some facts related to Elon Musk's artificial gravity starship claim. If we missed something, make sure to share your opinions. Stay tuned for further updates.